Hi everyone, this is Simon from Android Spin with another quick look at a new phone from HTC. This time it's the HTC Evo 3D and it's coming on the Sprint network. I did a quick look introduction on the website just a couple of days ago. Uh, gave you some photographs, gave you a little bit of background, but I thought I'd do a quick video and show you a little bit about the device. So here you have it. It's very similar to the HTC Sensation. Everything except for the frame itself. Uh, the layout's a little bit different too. It has a dedicated camera button. Uh, because it's 3D, we have a controller on the top that lets you switch between 2D and 3D mode when using the camera. And there's the camera itself. You can see we have a dual lens, dual 5 megapixel cameras. Uh, the back, I'm not sure if I can get a good angle to show you, but it's actually textured. It's kind of a ribbed effect. Uh, it actually feels quite nice, although the back itself is a little bit, uh, little bit flimsy for me. Um, on the left-hand side, we have you know the regular USB connector, also doubled as a HDMI connector for linking up to your television or other audio equipment, audio video equipment. On the top we have 3.5mm headphone jack and the power button and on the bottom we have nothing. So that's the device. Um, as I said, let me just throw next to it a uh, sensation. You can see them side by side. Uh, the screens are almost identical. I think they are. They're both QHD. They're both the um, SLCD capacitive touch, touch screen, so both using the same technology. They both have the 1.2 GHz dual core processor from Qualcomm and the Adreno 220 GPU for handling any graphics and gaming. So let's move that one out of the way, get back to the Evo. It'll shoot 1080p, 24 frames, 2D video, and 720p, 30 frames with 3D video. The phone itself comes with a lithium ion 1730 milliamp hour battery. Uh, bigger than the normal batteries that you find in most of the HTC phones, but I'm guessing that is um, to deal with WiMAX. The Sprint network and the WiMAX apparently takes a lot of power, so battery life is not good. I haven't been able to do too much testing on this phone uh, because I do not have service. So I'm just on Wi-Fi, I'm doing all the testing I can, but obviously not using the WiMAX means I'm not really using the battery. So I can't tell you how good or bad it is. Uh, it's running HTC Sense 3. It has DLNA support for doing media sharing with your TV and other media devices. And stereo FM radio with RDS support. As I said, the device is running Sense 3, so you've got your usual array of Sense widgets that you find in any version of Sense, um, but the addition of 3D effects. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you this, but if you can see there, the clock, you see the actual clock time itself is raising up, so it gives a 3D effect. That is all over. You can see everything kind of stands out. Now that's nothing to do with the 3D of this phone, that's just Sense 3, which is incredibly, incredibly cool. The graphics are amazing. Um, if you haven't seen it already, if we go into the weather, so let's see if I can get a good clear picture here. Those clouds are actually moving and we can go into a demo mode and go through different effects. So there you have a thunderstorm, cloudy, foggy, you see the trees fading in and out of the fog. It is incredibly lifelike. You'd think it was, uh, it was the redeal. I wonder if you can see there, there's a haze on the desert. Uh, we got a partly cloudy, so the clouds are coming out of the screen towards you, sun peeking out behind. Partly sunny, you see the rays of the sun are actually moving. 
I've probably gone on too long with this. There's the rain, which is cool. It looks like the rain is dripping down your screen. And if I left it long enough, it's like the camera faces upwards, so you're looking up into the rain and it lands on you. It's incredibly cool. Sense 3 is... A, uh, it, it graphically is incredibly impressive. It's very cool. So what else have we got? Well, not that I'd be able to show you it, but if I go into the camera application, and of course you won't be able to see anything on this, because there's even uh, not really anything behind the phone either. But if you could see that, it is in 3D. And it looks pretty cool, but it's kind of like, uh, you know those puzzles that you have to stare at and slowly your eyes adjust to them and you actually see something that's in the puzzle? Um, it's like that. You have to really look at the phone and concentrate and then the 3D pops out and everything becomes clear. If you take the phone while you're viewing pictures and just move from side to side just a tiny bit, you get a very, very weird effect and you can't look at it. Um, I don't know. I said in my initial impression, I don't think 3D is something that I would ever use. It's a gimmick. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks amazing on the phone, especially when you, you consider that you're doing it without glasses. But I don't think I would ever use it except for showing off to friends. Uh, it does come with a game. We've got Spider-Man, and that is in 3D. And you won't be able to see it. I'm not sure what it's going to look like on the camera, actually. Let's get this to fire up and see how it, uh, how it looks. That is 3D. Spider-Man is kind of popping out the screen and you see depth. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So gaming, gaming could be acceptable. That may be something that will work. But, uh, I don't know. Turn that down a bit. The funny thing is, the, uh, the 3D effect is more like you're looking into the screen as opposed to things popping out of the screen. Um, so, just different to sitting in front of a movie with your uh, 3D glasses on. It does come with a movie, I couldn't get it to work. The Green Hornet in 3D is on here. I'm guessing it could be to do with this phone not being activated. But I'm not sure. Uh, what else? We've got Sprint Radio, Sprint TV and Movies, Sprint Zone, Sprint Mobile. You know, a couple of the extra Sprint, NASCAR. Not too much else. There's a 3D games market you can go to and purchase more games. But that's about it. That is the HTC Evo 3D coming to Sprint. The phone itself is awesome. It's the HTC Sensation. Um, fast, smooth, really nice, excellent display. It has the benefit of 3D. I don't know if you'd use it or not. I certainly wouldn't buy it for the 3D, but I wouldn't reject it because it's got it, because you can just turn it off and not use it. Um, the other thing I do prefer about the Sensation is the rounded looks. You know, it's it's like the Nexus One. It's got the rounded edges. The Evos, even the original Evo, I was never a huge fan of. I don't like this. It's got sharp edges on the side. Um, let's see if we can... So you look at the tops, you can see we have the rounded effect on the Sensation. Square and blocky on the Evo. Each to their own. People like different things. It's a nice phone. I think you wouldn't go wrong if you purchased it. I think it's an excellent successor to the original Evo. And there you have it. That's the HTC Evo 3D coming to Sprint soon. Thanks. Bye.